So I was watching the Olympics, this last summer Olympics, and I was amazed at how bad the questions were that the reporters would ask all the athletes. And almost always, they asked the same question, whether they were about to uh, compete or after they competed. Were you nervous, right? And to a T, all the athletes went, no, right? <laughs> and what I realized is it's not that they're not nervous, it's their interpretation of what's happening in their bodies. I mean, what, what happens when you're nervous, right? Your heart rate starts to go, you're, you know, you sort of get a little tense, you get a little sweaty, right? You, you have expectation of what's coming, and we interpret that as, I'm nervous. Now, what's the interpretation of excited? Your heart rate starts to go, you become, you're anticipating what's coming, right? You get a little sort of like tense. It's all the same thing. It's the same stimuli. Except these athletes, these, these Olympic quality athletes have learned to interpret the stimuli that the rest of us would say is nervous as excited. They all say the same thing. No, I'm not nervous. I'm excited. And so I've actually practiced it just to tell myself when I start to get nervous that this is excitement. Yeah. You know, and so where when you I used to speak in front of a large audience and somebody would say, how do you feel? I used to say, a little nervous. Now when somebody says, how do you feel? I'm like, really excited, actually. <laughs> and it, it came from just sort of telling myself, no, 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 this is excitement. And it becomes a little bit automatic later on. Um, but it's kind of a remarkable thing to deal with pressure by interpreting what your body is experiencing as excitement rather than nerves. Um, and it's really kind of effective. It makes you want to rush forwards rather than pull back, and yet it's the same experience. Mm -hmm.